Yeah, hi everybody. I'm Joe Cahill. I am the executive producer and CEO at Steamhouse Entertainment. Uh, we are based in San Angelo, Texas. We're just opening up our offices and studio, and I am really looking forward to working here in Texas. I was originally, well, sort of from Texas, uh, from San Angelo. My dad was stationed here at uh, Goodfellow three times, and so this was the actual first U.S. soil I ever stepped on as a kid uh, since I was born overseas. So I'm real excited to be back home. My mom recommended this when I was looking to move somewhere. She goes, well, just go back to San Angelo. You loved it as a kid. Still love it, I found out when I got back here. Well, I'm prior military. Then for years, I was a criminal investigator. I know, kind of a big jump, criminal investigations over here. Uh, but when uh, my wife passed and uh, one of my oldest friends, Mark, his dad got real sick, I was in a bad place with some military PTSD and, and the wife passing and everything else. So they were a little concerned about me, he and his brother, who were, you know, his brother's also a friend. So their dad had Alzheimer's and uh, Parkinson's and a couple of other issues. So instead of finding me hanging from a ceiling one day, they talked me into moving in with Mark and helping take care of dad. That way Mark could still keep working full time. Um, so when Floyd passed away, we moved out here. But during that time, Mark started getting me involved in, in life again, and we actually started running Comic-Cons. Uh, we had the, the classic Comic-Con at Modesto. We would ran uh, the Sci-Fi Fantasy Con up in Lake Tahoe at the Hard Rock Casino and Hotel. Uh, we ran a Ren Fair. A lot of fun. I started meeting a lot of actors. We're bringing in them for these conventions and Comic-Cons to sign autographs and do their little talks and all that. And at dinner one night, with about nine of them, on my dime, come to think of it, uh, one of them leaned over and goes, why aren't you in filmmaking? You run a really good convention. I see you're running the uh, film festival now for fun, uh, just as part of your convention, so why aren't you doing that? And I started thinking about it. And the uh, Steamhouse Entertainment LLC was born out of Steamhouse Entertainment, which was the side running the cons and everything. We got so into it that uh, started making shorts with local filmmakers in uh, Modesto, California. Formed an uh, organization there, the, the Modesto Filmmakers Association. And, you know, we have a big, Modesto had a big history for film. Hometown of George Lucas. I grew up across the street from... Uh, Jeremy Renner, Hawkeye, James Marsters, Spike from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, a couple years ahead of me in the same high school. Uh, Timothy Oliphant and I were the same grade at high school. I mean, this is Modesto, California, of all freaking places. Little tiny, well, okay, tiny by California standards, quarter million people. And it got me thinking, you know, if Star Wars could come out of here and justified and you know, an Avengers actor and all that, well, it, can, it, it can happen anywhere. And I want it happening right here in San Angelo now that I've moved back home. Uh, some of the obstacles I'm seeing, five years of a film festival, it doesn't fill a, fill a theater yet. That's a problem. I would love to be able to help with that. I did direct a film festival for over five years, Steamhouse Independent Film uh, Festival. We had great run. We were mostly an online festival, although we did do the awards at uh, conventions, comic cons, that kind of thing, and uh, bring them out and pass out their trophies. We had a lot of fun doing it. We filled seats, even at the conventions for that. that. Tickets were specifically bought to come to that, not the convention. So I would love to get involved in that because until we fill it with local butts, we're not going to fill it with outsiders. They're not going to want to come here for a film festival that they're only showing to 20% capacity. They want those dollars to enter their films going somewhere. They want every seat in that theater watching them. Uh, we definitely need to maybe do some uh, question and answer sessions with their producers and their crews. Get them interested in coming for their next film to San Angelo to shoot it. Because we run a film festival that's top of the line. We've got the people here to do it. Work with them. Be their crew. Save costs. Fill the hotels up with people here. This is something we could do. We just got to do it. What I really want to see here in San Angelo is we become the center for West Texas film. There's absolutely no reason San Angelo, which is already becoming a center for arts, cannot add this to our resume and bring in more people and bring in a lot of interest. Let's get the outsiders spending their dollars here 
making their movies here and hiring all of us as either production co-production companies or you know hiring you guys as gaffers crew film camera guys whatever they need let's get those dollars into your pockets right here in san angelo uh, Texas Film Commission is going crazy trying to help us all out here in Texas. They want the business. We've got support from huge actors in the, in this area. Matthew McConaughey lives in Uvalde, just down the road for, for us Texans. That's that's real close. We've got a strong theater background. We've got strong museum backgrounds. We've got one of the best universities in the in the state. Uh, we've got professors that are willing to jump in and help. Uh, you know, art guys that that literature that have been doing it their whole lives, you know, PhDs in, in literature, help, more than willing to probably help you out with a script. Texas is the place to be. It's up and coming film, but they're moving in in the East. And we want to move it into the West now. So, you know, jump on board, help us do it. I'm proud to be a San Angeloan. I hope all the filmmakers here are proud and let's, let's really kick some tail and make this the new place instead of DFW or Austin. That's what I'm after.